Hi everyone, Reverend Lunch Lady here, also known as Love Coach Macy. I'm so glad you're here. If you're watching the replay, stick around because I wanted to answer a question that I hear all the time, which is, which online dating site should I use? How do I pick? What do you what do you do? <laughs> People are asking me that pretty much every week and right now even more because if you haven't noticed everyone is online right now so whether you're online for business or to meet with family or to socialize everyone is online so we are seeing a lot more people enrolling in the online dating sites right now, which is such a good thing, such a good thing. It's so great because um, on one hand, I hear people saying, oh, well, I guess I can't date right now, which isn't true at all. The truth is this is a time when we can connect in much more meaningful ways. And in fact, um, the online dating site owners and people who've created them have, have talked a lot about how they're seeing people who are just connecting um, longer and more thoughtfully and with a consciousness that's different than we had before. Before, there was so much static. You know, we had plenty of distractions. We could just go to the bar or go to a yoga class or, you know, go hang out with your friends and hang out at coffee shops and, and all of the buzz of just being in the world could make it feel like, oh, well, I'm connecting. And even in that, you can do that almost on autopilot, but we can feel like we're connecting more. And, you know, in a lot of cases we are, because we're able to see people and and shake hands or whatever but um but the thing is right now um we don't have those distractions so there's so many people who are used to having more connections even hanging out in the in the office break room or going to starbucks together those kinds of connections are gone so we're just seeing a huge influx of people who are seeking other ways for connection and we need that, we need connection as humans. And so, you know, it's really important for us to learn how to do that no matter what's happening in the world. So today I just wanted to talk a little bit about if you are a single person and you're wanting that connection or maybe you're feeling loneliness or you're, you're aware of, wow, I really do wanna have a relationship in my life and I haven't been able to get there, let's talk about how you can. And one of the great ways is using the tools that are out there. So the online dating sites, there are so many of them, and we're gonna talk a little bit about the data of you know what those numbers are, but there, there are so many out there that it is gonna be, there is a choice here. There's a choice in, figuring out which ones to use. So when people ask me, Macy, what do I, how do I know which one to use? Here are the things I say. First, there are a lot of different ones. I mean, right now, the one that has the greatest population of people. So I do like to look at that. You wanna look at, okay, where are people going? You know, where are where are the greater numbers? Because if you are um, on a, a dating site that is, you know, dating site for people who uh, went to clown school in 1975, then you notice the, the pool is going to be a lot smaller. And so my advice, my recommendation is to look at those places where there are greater numbers. So what we're seeing right now statistically is that um, the top one is Tinder. 
And I know many of you probably have said, because I've said it even, and I don't believe this anymore, is that, oh, isn't Tinder for just hookups and stuff? Well, newsflash, we don't have hookups right now. <laughs> like there's no opportunity for hookups, which is also another amazing gift that this time is giving us because we're taking away more of the static around dating, the quick hookups, the one night stands, the, you know, okay, let's rush out to a bar or whatever. None of that is available now. Now we have to get really creative, which actually is really fun for those of you who would like a real conscious, connected, soulful relationship. That's how you do it. You actually get to know someone. So anyway, the point is Tinder is not is is just a software tool when we judge them as one thing or another it's not really helpful because it's just software people are using it to connect to other people there's all sorts of people on there and i've had multiple of my love coaching clients meet amazing people on tinder so tinder comes in at 7.86 million people are in that in that on that app in america just in the us so that's the top the next level is bumble which is five million in the us the next one down is plenty of fish which is 4.28 million the next one down is match.com which is typically the one i recommend i was surprised it was was not higher is one basically two million um and okay cupid is almost two million um, and then after that, we have Grinder, Hinge, and Zusk. So, you know, it looks like, you know, up in the Tinder, Bumble, Plenty of Fish, Match, OkCupid, okay those are the spaces that the populations really exist the most. I know there are other ones like Meet Mindful and Spiritual Singles, and I know there's a tendency to want to go to those things um, for a lot of people in my community because they're looking for that soulful spiritual connection but what i would recommend is you know don't really you don't want to start with that before you even find a place to be online once you're online you can actually use a lot of the sorting tools to assess that so um i just encourage you know getting to the place where there's there's populations first um and then the second piece is it's still going to be your choice so you're still the one that's choosing there are a lot of different factors that will influence that is it fun for you do you like the layout how it navigates does it have features that you like whether it's doing video chats or um being able to sort by more specific things does it have that kind of um uh assessment that when you sign up you know they're kind of factoring in your actual compatibility with another person i mean there's a lot of different features that are going to be personal preference so i encourage you to really follow your awareness about that I mean, really, all of this is, you know, really having the awareness to navigate these things from that, you know, conscious place. So, um, you know, if you try one and you're finding that it's it's not like flowing for you, try something else or be on a couple different ones. I do think it's helpful to be on a couple different um, tools and apps at the same time. Um, why not? So you know, it's really up to you to play. So so the first one is looking at the population. The second one is honoring your, your awareness about it and knowing you have choice about different things and examining that for yourself. And then the third piece is truly, if you're finding that you're putting yourself online and it's not fun ever anywhere, or you're finding that you're, you know, feeling like you're not attracting the good ones, or you're struggling with communication, or you're not wanting to reach out, or you're finding you're just avoiding your, your mailbox about it, then that is a huge red flag. 
and in a good way, I would say in a heart way, that's just like, hey, this isn't the time to throw yourself out there without having the tools and strategies to do so in a, an effective way. Because truly, this is about having the ability to connect and share yourself in what you want in a relationship likely is that you want someone to be able to see you for you. So you've got to be able to do that for you right now. And if you're feeling insecure and and not comfortable and not safe putting yourself out there, then listen to that. And that's when, you know, I would say, let's have a conversation because right now is not the time to deny yourself connection. You know, one of the biggest concerns with this whole pandemic thing, you know, second to just the virus, whatever, is mental health, mental health, because so many people, you know, now are not having those connections or not feeling that support. And if you are struggling at all, please reach out to me, please, because this is not the time to spiral into a, a puddle. And so if you're noticing those things, then, you know, it's, I recommend doing the inner work, getting the confidence and the safety and security within before putting yourself out there. So a lot of times I meet people and they they say, I hate online dating and, you know, it doesn't work for me and it's bad and this and that. And then after doing this inner work, getting to the bottom of what makes it hard to attract a person or to relate to a person or to create healthy relationships, once we get to the bottom of that, then the online dating thing is a totally different world. It's playful, it's fun, it's amusing. And I see that over and over and over again. And I will say 100% of the time that people who work with me and meet their person, it's because they've gotten to that place. And you can't really attract a really great person that's going to bring you that, you know, experience of feeling adored or, you know, really having fun with another. You can't have that unless, you know, you've done that inner work. You know, if you're coming from fear and worry and scarcity and all of the things that are really kind of loud and clear in the world right now, then it's going to be hard. So, so I hope that was helpful. And if you are watching this and you have not yet decided if you're coming to virtual prom on Saturday, you are invited. Um, so please check out the virtual prom for all group. I'm actually broadcasting in that group and in the apocalyptic love group right now. So if you're in apocalyptic love and you haven't joined the other group, come over there and join us on Saturday night, um, live together. We'll dance and play and there'll be comedy and it'll be really fun. So thanks for listening. Reach out to me. Just email me at macy at bighappylove.com if you would like to have a conversation about how you can create meaningful love no matter what's going on in the world. Because the most important thing is your heart, your happiness, your life, and your life is meant to be joyful and you're meant to be in love. So I can't wait to support you. So message me, reach out to me, and um, I can't wait to meet you. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.